future real estate brokers, I'm glad that you found this video because I'll be sharing tips that help me prepare for the board licensure examination for real estate brokers and pass it in the first try. Before we go into the discussion, I would like to introduce myself first. I'm Man Clemente, a licensed real estate broker based in Metro Manila, Philippines. And one of the reasons why I created this YouTube channel is to help uplift our profession as a real estate service practitioner in the Philippines. So I hope you'll consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. And once you pass the real estate broker's licensure examination, please don't be a stranger when we happen to meet each other in person. And of course, I look forward to working with you on a real estate transaction when there is an opportunity. And if you have already subscribed before, please don't be surprised that I'll be speaking in English all throughout this video. Some of my viewers live in Cebu and different parts of the country and I know that some of them are not that fluent in Tagalog and I want most of you to have an easier time understanding me. Plus, as aspiring real estate brokers, you have to be fluent in English because there are times we'll have foreign clients who of course can't understand the national language. By the way, if you're a senior high school student, you are also welcome to watch this. Indeed, the board licensure examination for real estate brokers is an exam conducted once yearly by the Professional Regulation Commission under the supervision of the Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service. Once we pass it, we are professionals on the same level of doctors, architects, among others. It also opens up numerous opportunities for us to earn a higher income. And when we fail, we have to try passing the board exam again the following year. That is why I thought of creating this video so you can also pass the exam in the first try. Plus, who knows, you might end up being a top-notcher. Although in the real estate industry, your performance in the board examination is not really a determinant of how good a practitioner you will be, being among the top will definitely boost your confidence because you're knowledgeable in the technical aspects of our profession. Anyway, the examination is a difficult milestone and a lot of us found it very difficult. Actually, a lawyer and a sales manager who took the exam the same time I took it failed. So yes, having prior experience in project selling and having a good background in law doesn't guarantee that you will pass it. You can't be complacent. Take advantage of the long preparation time that you have since I know that the board licensure examination should have been last July 31, but because of the lockdowns, it has been moved to November 6. I think I have been talking too much. Let us now discuss the tips that will help you prepare for the real estate broker's licensure examination. Tip number one, attend comprehensive real estate sessions. This is offered by an accredited real estate service provider. You'll have more lectures and you'll get review materials which will help increase your knowledge and that will increase your chances of passing. Before, it was advisable to just choose a review center that is near you, but now that all the review centers are conducting their sessions online, you can actually just choose a review center that has a high passing rate and has a high number of top notchers. One of the review centers that you can check out is Engineer Enrico Cruz Urban Institute of Real Estate home of the top-notchers and successful real estate brokers. And I'm a product of that review center. Their online comprehensive review starts on September 5 and it includes an access to an exclusive FB for additional online review. This is their contact details. Another review center you can attend is the Prime Real Estate Values and Integrated Learnings Incorporated Prevail in short. 
Their review schedule starts on September 12 and according to them, you'll get a free 3-day coaching one week prior to the examination. This is their contact details. The Philippine Association of Real Estate Board Incorporated and the Real Estate Brokers Association of the Philippines used to conduct a comprehensive seminar and training in preparation for the Real Estate Brokers Licensure Examination. But right now, I'm not sure if they have it or they will be having it. Tip number two. Focus reviewing on the subject which carry greater weight. I'm sure you already know that the examination is quite extensive. Our tendency is to focus on subjects we're not good at, but we actually have to focus on the subjects which carry greater weight. Based on PRC's table of specification, 50% of the examination is based on professional practice. This consists of real estate brokerage practice, real estate finance and economics, urban and land use, planning, development, and zoning of properties, basic principles of ecology, basic appraisal for real estate brokers. Tip number three, study the full text version of the laws and regulations. The reviewer you'll most likely get have the condensed version of the laws and regulations. However, by reading the original form, you learn something that others do not know. This gives you an edge not just on the exam, but on actual dealings with clients. And you know, trust me, <laughs> real estate clients will trust you more when you're knowledgeable on real estate laws because you'll be able to represent their best interest at heart. Tip number four, answer real estate broker exam sample questions as many as you can. Go to Google and type real estate broker exam questionnaire and answer all the sample questions and quizzes available. Time yourself while doing it to mimic the exam whereby there is time pressure. This helps you perform better in the actual exam. Tip number five, make the last day of your preparation count. The day before the examination, you should stop studying already. Cramming won't help you. You have to start relaxing your mind. In the morning time, you may visit the exam venue so you'll know where the parking place is or if ever you'll need to sleep overnight at a place near the venue. You may also use the time to prepare the materials you'll need to bring for the exam. This will include the notice of admission, official receipt, PRC approved calculator, sharpened pencils, etc. And more importantly, get a good night's sleep so you won't be sleepy on the day of the exam. Tip number six, try to stay calm while taking the exam and just do your best. In order to have a presence of mind in answering the questions, you need to stay calm. This means waking up early and arriving at the venue as early as possible. Coming late will just bring you stress and you won't be able to do your personal business, aka use the restroom before taking the examination. Remember this, no one is allowed to go out to the restroom while the examination is ongoing and minutes and in between of the examination do not review avoid also the people who are doing last minute review because you might be able to hear something that you don't know that you might be tempted to find out the answer and then you'll turn to your reviewer cram and then you'll be stressed avoid also the people who are talking about the answers during break time because that will make you feel anxious you can't change your answer anyway, so move on and as Queen Elsa says, let it go. Tip number seven, pray. It says in Matthew 21, 22, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Put your faith in God and pray for good health so you won't fall sick during the board exams and 
pray also for wisdom so you will be able to recall what you've studied prior to the exams. Those are the tips that helped me pass the board licensure examination for real estate brokers. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to comment it in the comment section below. Again, I'm Mayan Clemente, a licensed real estate broker based in Metro Manila, Philippines, and thank you for watching Own Property PH. Thank you.